From range to firepower, when it comes to guns, science matters. Mankind has always been keen on finding ways to kill and burn each other and in the process driving innovation. However, it was only after the onset of the Industrial Revolution that we began to see true giants fielded on the battlefield. Guns began to increase progressively in size as rival great powers competed in a bid to outpower and outrange each other. This trend, however, ended with the onset of rocketry which nullified any advantage of fielding such expensive behemoths. In this video, we give you the 10 biggest guns ever made and we will rank them in terms of caliber size. At number 10 is Gamma Morser. Gamma Morser was a super heavy siege gun designed to level fortresses. Ten of these monster artilleries were manufactured by the end of the First World War. A sole specimen that survived again saw action during the Second World War, during the attack on the Maginot Line and during the siege of Sevastopol. The Gamma Morser weighs about 140 tons and the gun can drop a 1-ton shell of up to 8.8 .8 miles and its caliber size is 420mm or 16.5 inches. At number 9 is 2B1 Oka. This prototype self-propelled gun was a comically long barrel spanning 66 feet was built by the Soviet Union in 1957. The gun could fire a 750 kg round of up to 45 km. Now, due to its complexity of loading, it had a relatively low rate of fire, one round every five minutes. The recoil was so intense, however, that it basically destroyed the gun's tracked chassis. Also, that huge barrel made parallel parking quite a hassle. Now, this self-propelled artillery was run on a 700-horsepower engine and had a total mass of 55.3 tons. The caliber size of B1 Oka is 420mm. Up next is the 100-ton gun. The 100-ton gun, also known as the Armstrong 100-ton gun, was a gun made by the British manufacturing company Armstrong Whitworth. The 15 guns Armstrong made were used to arm two Italian battleships and to counter these British fortifications at Malta and Gibraltar. This short-barreled rifle muzzle loader lived up to its name with a total weight of 103 tons. Though it was commissioned for the coastal defense of Great Britain from 1877 to 1906, its comparatively short range of only 6 kilometers made its usefulness a subject to debate. Still, its 2,000-pound shells packed a serious wallop. At number 7 is BL-18-inch Railway Howitzer. BL-18-inch Railway Howitzer was a British railway gun developed during World War I. Developed too late for the war effort, the massive railway guns were soon placed in storage until the onset of the Second World War where they were repurposed as coastal defenses. Five were produced but none of the guns saw any action throughout their service. Its barrel length was 16 meters and caliber size of 18 inches. The 190-ton gun could fire 2,500-pound shells up to 21 kilometers. Number 6 is Monsmag. Monsmag is a medieval gun built during the 15th century. Though its shell weight can't rival more modern weapons, Monsmag's massive 520mm caliber and incredible useful life of over 200 years are nevertheless very impressive. The medieval bombard was built in 1449 and served until 1680 when its barrel burst. The gun's huge stone cannonballs weighs almost 400 pounds. Monsmag has a diameter of 19 inches, one of the highest ever built, and weighs 15,366 pounds and is 13 feet in length. Up next is Karl Garat. Karl Garat was a World War II German self-propelled siege mortar designed and built by Rhein Metal. This huge self-propelled siege mortar was also known as Thor. Each gun had to be accompanied by a crane, a two-piece heavy transport set of rail cars, and several modified tanks to carry shells. Seven guns were built, six of which saw combat between 1941 and 1945. One Carl Garrett has survived and the remainder were scrapped after the war. Its heaviest munition was 60 cm or 24 inches diameter, 2,170 kg shell, and the range for its shell was over 42 km. Number 4 is Schwerer Gustav. Schwerer Gustav was a German 80 cm railway gun. 
It was so huge that it required two parallel sets of railroad tracks to support their weight, which also made them widely impractical. They were designed to demolish the hardened fortifications of the French Maginot Line, but the German strategy of just going around the line proved much more effective. Still, the mighty railway guns remained the biggest ever constructed. The full assembly gun weighed nearly 1,350 tons and could fire shells weighing 7 tons to a range of 47 kilometers. Up next is SAR Cannon. The SAR Cannon is a large early modern period artillery piece. The largest bombard ever built, the SAR Cannon was never actually used in combat, though it was fired at some point in its long life. The SAR Cannon was cast in 1586 and has occupied Moscow ever since. The SAR Cannon is located just past the Kremlin Armory, facing towards the Kremlin Senate. The SAR Cannon is made of bronze, it weighs 39.3 tons and has a length of 5.34 meters. Its bronze cast barrel has an internal diameter of 890 mm and an external diameter of 1200 mm. Number 2 is Little David. There's nothing little about this mortar, which was designed to destroy the huge fortifications the army planned to encounter during the expected invasion of Japan during World War II. Little David was the nickname of an American 914mm caliber mortar used for test firing aerial bombs during World War II. But Little David's limited range and questionable accuracy cast its potential effectiveness into doubt. Thankfully, the invasion never happened and the gun never saw combat. The gun weighs about 78 tons and the barrel length is about 6.7 meters long. The mortar's massive 3-foot diameter shells each weigh 3,650 pounds. At number 1 is the Mallet's Mortar. The Mallet's Mortar was a British shell-firing mortar built for the Crimean War but never used in combat. The mortar was designed by Robert Mallet and was constructed in separate sections so that it could be transported. Much like Little David, with which it shares the world's largest caliber, Mallet's mortar never saw combat. Two examples of the 43-ton mortar were built in 1957 and were extensively tested. Its length is about 11 feet long and the gun could fire a shell with a maximum weight of 2,940 pounds or a lighter 2,400 pound shot. The 80 pounds of gunpowder used could fling the smaller round about a mile and a half. And that's it from the buzz for today. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.